morning, Math Workshop friends. I hope you're having a great day so far. I have a question for you. When in life have you heard or used the word line? Maybe um, in school when teachers are like, hey guys, it's time to line up for lunch. Maybe when you pass by Effie's or Carousel and you think to yourself, oh my gosh, that's a really long line. Mrs. Hill and Art sometimes ask you to draw lines. So my question today is, in math, what is the actual definition of the word line? So I thought today we could come to central office of Faulkner County Public Schools. That's where a lot of really important decisions are made. And we are going to ask our superintendent, Dr. Jack. He's in charge of all the schools, all of the teachers and employees, and most importantly, you. Let's go inside and see what Dr. Jack has to say about the definition of the word line. Come on. All right, everybody, here we are. Let's go see what Dr. Jack has to say. I hope he's in his office. We're so lucky, guys. Here's Dr. Jack. Good, Good morning, morning, Dr. Jack. Good morning. So I have with me a whole class of fourth graders, and we are wondering what your definition of the word line is. Line. Hmm. Uh, my definition of the word line is something very straight and it can be something very short or very long, but always straight. But, but in math, the actual definition is a collection of points extending indefinitely in both directions. So a collection is sort of like a group. And if we're talking about points, it would be like a whole lot of points. Dr. Jack, can you help us visualize what that might look like? Sure, I can help you with that. Awesome. Just happen to have these rulers behind my desk. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. So can you tell us about those symbols on the end? A long time ago, mathematicians got together and agreed on a way to represent what lines look like on paper. You can't really draw something that goes on forever, so they needed a representation. They decided that drawing arrows would show and represent that the line goes on infinitely. Another thing they agreed on was that at least two points on the line can be marked and given capital letter names. For example, point D And point J. Ta-da! <laughs> Dr. Jack, when a line is drawn on paper, like how would that look in fourth grade? Line. Point. Point. Ah, did you choose D and J for Dr. Jack? I did. <laughs> Jack, thanks so much for hanging out with us today and helping us learn all about lines. I appreciate your time. You were great. Job well done. Thank you very much. Yeah. My pleasure. Absolutely. Hey, boys and girls, here is your task today. There are actually two parts. You need to go ahead and grab a Hanging with Mrs. Mac paper, put your name on it, and the main idea today is lines. I do want a definition. You might have to backtrack the video go back and get those specific words that Dr. Jack shared with you. And for part one, you actually get to go around the classroom and build a line. You can use any supplies you want. You can build it, you can paint it, you can draw it, anything. Your line though must have the arrows on the end and you have to have two points. You choose the letters that you want to have as your points. When you're done, put your line Mark lines. Okay, part two. Go back to your Hang With Mrs. Mac paper and in the task section, just with your pencil, draw a line like Dr. Jack did with the arrows and the letters you chose and then put your paper in the Hang With Mrs. Mac folder hanging on the wall. You know what to do. All right, guys, I love you. I hope you have a great day. Bye. Bye. Have a great day. Have a great school year. <laughs> Jack, do you ever have dreams at night that 
you're a line superhero? No, that would be weird. Really? Do you? I'm, every night, my hands are the arrows, and I'm all like, line! So, do you ever have dreams that you're a line segment? I mean, no, because that would be weird. I have them every night. What? Pachoo, pachoo, line segment! Choo choo! <laughs> line segment? We might need to know more about that. That was weird. weird.